is like not wanting to focus on the real world. It keeps like adjusting and getting weird and like blurry for me and I'm like, uh, why can't I just have naturally 2020 vision? Why must I put these weird plastic saline caps on my corneas to help me see? Oh, life is so unfair. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's simply me, Diana. And I'm so ready for Halloween that I kind of want to do a Halloween look today. And I have my base completely on. Eyebrows, like, my eyes are primed. My entire, like, base is done. Because I want to focus on the eyes, the lips, and, like, the little detailing. So, I did a killer clown makeup look two years ago it looked like complete shit let me be real with you i wasn't really that talented with makeup back then not saying i am now last year i did like um kind of like a doll creepy doll kind of look and today i kind of want to do a glam like goth clown type of thing so it's gonna be really glam and smoky and like actually like really nice makeup then i'm gonna add like the little like black clown lines and like accentuate my lips and stuff and like the red nose and ooh, it's gonna be good it's gonna be good i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait it's gonna be really great so by the time this is posted my post on instagram will already be up so i'm gonna leave my makeup instagram linked right here for you guys just the at right here and it's gonna be in the description my, all my social media stuff is always in the description so yeah you should really check that me out I really appreciate it because like I really want to grow as like a makeup person on Instagram and it's gonna be really difficult and I kind of want to like transition to being like a makeup YouTube channel but not really because I still like talking and like doing videos with my friends and stuff in front of a camera so like I don't want to completely take a 360 and be like oh my god hi how's it going it's me I know everything about makeup so yeah Anyway, so enough further, enough further ado. I am really great with talking to people, Jesus. So enough of me talking about all this, let's just get into the video and I haven't practiced this like at all. So this is all can be trial and error and you're probably gonna see me like cry a little bit and wish I hadn't done this and probably want to try to switch things up as I go along. But it's all about the experience and we'll see how it goes so yeah so what i want to do is like have a smoky like red halo eye with like you know red and black so i'm gonna dip into the jaclyn hill palette by morphe and i think i'm also gonna use the 35o as well you can see how loved this palette is it's pretty beat up and this is before they rebranded so wow look at me being og makeup user and I th think I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is, oh my God, I'm so bad at this, Hunts. I'm gonna go in with Hunts. And I think I'm gonna mix it in with this really intense bright red shade from the Morphe 35O. And I'm just gonna pack that on my lid with like a really fluffy brush. So I'm just gonna like tap into this and it's gonna look a lot like the get ready with me video that i did a couple videos ago just like intense like red raccoon moment but i promise you it's not gonna be the exact same thing because i'm gonna add black and probably some glitter so yeah that's fun i'll be right back when i have this blended out so i just diffused the color hunts all over my eyeball so i think i'm just gonna take a different blending brush i'm trying to look for one Oh, this one's kind of like tainted with black from a different time I use black eyeshadow. So I'm going to dip into this like blood red color here and like really intensify the center of my lid and like blend that upwards softly. Like I really want this to be diffused. But again, like don't clock me for being a shitty makeup artist because I am not licensed. I like this as a hobby. I do not work at the MAC counter and you can barely see what I'm doing because... I'm using my Samsung Galaxy S7 to record this, so I don't have a Nikon or like a Canon camera to capture this, so yeah, I'm not bitter about that at all. <laughs> Yo, I almost dropped my palette, look at how I caught it, Jesus Christ, I would have cried if I dropped this because this was like $38, so yeah, not about to do that. 
Um, anyway, I'm gonna go in with Jax, which is this darker red shade right here. And I'm gonna pop that like on my outer corner out here. And I'm just gonna like, you know, gently diffuse that into my crease and like ever so softly just like make it blend upwards and I'm gonna do like obviously the same thing on the other side because we do not want lopsided eyelids not today honey I'm gonna dip into that same color on a smaller brush like this and I'm gonna drag that on my lower lash line about yeah maybe like two-thirds of the way I'm gonna leave like this inner part empty because I don't know why <laughs> but I'm just gonna you know do my thing and if I want to change it I will so yeah don't get angry with me jeez mind your business why am I talking to myself so I'm gonna like ease my way into black I don't want to automatically go in with abyss so I'm gonna go in with the one on top which is mocha and I'm gonna dip into this brown and like just slightly stamp it on and like you can already see how much more definition it's been giving me so I'm gonna just I'm gonna turn my mirror around so it's magnified there we go good morning eyelid didn't think you would go through this today huh so yeah I'm just stamping it on gently and kind of like uh, I don't know like blending it upwards I guess so, like, on this camera, it looks all the same. It all just looks red, but I promise you, it doesn't. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Probably no one's gonna watch it, so... Yeah. <laughs> God, this video is already, like, seven minutes long, and I've barely done anything. Okay, so this is the part where you could screw up everything. I'm gonna gently tap into this black shade Abyss, and I'm just gonna gently start packing it on my outer corner over here. So... A little of this goes a really, really long way, so I'm just gonna take like this packing brush. I think it came in with the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm not blending it right away, I just want to pack on the color onto my outer corner. And then we'll blend it out and diffuse it this way. So, again, I only tapped into the palette once. I just barely touched my brush against it. And it's giving me a lot of pigment already. Black is really confusing to use sometimes because like either you don't use enough and your shit looks gray or you use too much and you're fucked. So I'm going to go in with a mixture of uh, Jax, Hunts, and this mocha <laughs> brown color. And I'm going to very, very gently start blending that black this way like out towards the tail of my brow and just like flick it up. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing. My mirror is like here, my camera's here, so I'm probably doing this all in the wrong way, but like, what do I know about YouTube and how shit works and anything? Ah. <laughs> I took a very small amount of black and I'm just going to push it underneath my lower lash line just to smoke it out a bit because you want this to be smoky but not like overly smoky where your smoky eye ends on your cheekbones so it's just gonna like be gentle i guess and i'm just going back in and blending up and over i kind of want it to be like darker on this half of my eye and then like red on this side so I'm like blending through my crease, but I'm not going in too far. If that makes any sense? I don't know. You could probably find like a million other tutorials on something similar to this and have it look like 20 times as better. So save yourself the trouble and probably go elsewhere if you think I'm doing a shit job, which is likely. So I think I like the general eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette and then highlight my brow bone a bit. You know, just, just a little bit up here. I don't wanna overdo it and like take attention away or anything. So it's just gonna pop right there. I'm gonna take that same shade and like dust it on my inner corners as well. Just to like have like a beacon of light on the center of my face because my nose highlight is not enough. And yeah, you can put like white eyeliner in your inner waterline, you can do black, you can do red. 
I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. I don't wanna mess it up anymore. So what I'm gonna do off camera is I'm going to pop on some lashes, do mascara, and I'll be right back. Man, how crazy it would be if I like glued my eyes shut. Probably more entertaining though than like the average video. Like, oh, amateur makeup artist glues her eyes shut while putting on fake eyelashes. Wow, she sucks as a person. And like, look how shitty that looks. Now I need to adjust it, god damn it. Dude, lashes make a world of a difference. Like, that's insane. These are really pretty. These are Azaredo cosmetic lashes in the style Hollywood, I believe. The only bad thing about it is I think it's falling apart, like right here, so that's fun. Hopefully I don't break these, cause they're really pretty. Oh, you're kidding. I forgot to put on mascara. God damn it, I hate doing this step afterwards. Is this the, this isn't even the, oh my God, everything is falling apart. You know that Post Malone song, I Fall Apart? Me right now. God damn it. Ah, this is gonna be weird and I'm gonna stain my lashes with mascara. First world problems, honestly. Okay, so I'm actually not gonna do any mascara on my lower lashes yet because we're gonna start getting into like the nitty gritty and actually start doing shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this angled brush by ABH. I think this is, uh... What brush number is this? I don't know, the logo faded away. So, <laughs> all right, I'm assuming it's like number 12 or something. And I'm gonna dip into some black gel eyeliner. And just, this one's from Maybelline. And I'm just going to do like the whole like clown like doot doot thing. And I'm gonna do this off camera just to see how I can do it. And I'll show you guys this side, what it looks like. And I'll be right back. So, and I'll show you on camera on the other side, so. Give me a second. Okay, so what I did was I started with like a dotted line and then I took from each side up here and I gently like pushed it into the middle so you have a bit of a triangle. And then you just kind of drag it down. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want, long or short, doesn't matter. I'm just like very gently like putting this on my face and that's all you gotta do and repeat the same thing up here but except I'm gonna make these a bit shorter and fatter so yeah okay so this is what I have and you can see that they're like, oh my goodness jeez I didn't know I was gonna be breaking the whole world why is the earth quaking right now though jeez anyway you can see like these are a bit crooked and stuff and that's where concealer comes into play so you can conceal the edges and stuff what I did, I went into the center of my waterline and I put in that same eyeliner. So yeah. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing up here where the my brow bone is like up here, you know, brows and stuff. <laughs> you see where my arch is? I'm gonna start it there and like it'll follow through. So I think you get the gist. Did my dad really have to start cutting the grass right now? Ah, <sighs> gotta fix these anyway. So I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 08. And I'm just gonna clean up these edges over here. Like, I'm gonna tap first so I don't like really disturb the product underneath and make my entire forehead look black. Cause you know, that's not right. And I'm just gonna cut that and make it kind of spiffy, you know? So I'm just gonna repeat that same kind of concept around everywhere I think needs to be fixed. So what you're gonna wanna do next is to set all this black gel liner in place. So I'm just gonna go back in with that same black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just gonna gently tap the black shadow to set the cream underneath. So you only need a little bit for this and this kind of like make sure that there's no holes left you know oh my god what is going on jeez my pop socket is failing me okay i'm gonna try to get through the rest of this video without ruining shit <laughs> god um at this point what i would do is like make my nose red so let's see uh what brush am I doing? i'm gonna use the same big old fluffy ass brush and i'm gonna dip into Hans and Jacks. I think those are the shadow names. Hans and Jacks. Look at me. And I'm just going to dust that on 
the bottom of my nose, like down here. And I'm just gonna gently diffuse it upwards once I feel as though the pigment is leaving my brush. So it's like a gradient going like dark to light going from, you know, this way. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want it to be like total clown nose, except I kind of do, but like not in a circular kind of opaque 100% way. I kind of want it to be a gradient. So yeah, and I think I'm gonna dip into Jack's a bit more and like really put it into the base. So it's like a darker red that goes up to like a cherry red. So yeah, there's that. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna like really blend out the rest of the eyeshadow to make it like so blown out. Like, yeah, that's what I wanna see. When you see the thumbnail, it's gonna be like really pretty cause I'm gonna find some dope ass lighting and it's just gonna look really good. <laughs> right now, no, <nah. laughs> that's not happening. As for lips, I'm torn if I really want to do like a black or like a red, but I think I'm just going to go with like a dark red. Um, I think I'm just going to use probably either this Wet n Wild lipstick, which would look pretty cool, which is Video Vixen, or I could go in with like Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood, but I think I used Unicorn Blood in my last video, so we're going to go in with this, and I think I'm going to put a bit of the Fenty Uncensored Stun of Lip Paint in the center. And if I want to, since I don't have any black liquid lipstick, I'm gonna go in with that gel liner or like a liquid liner and like really intensify the edges. And I'm just gonna like bring out the corners a little bit. I'm not gonna make it go like this. So yeah, I'll be right back. So this Wet n Wild color is kind of streaky, not gonna lie, and it's very berry in a way. Isn't that like a Starbucks refresher? Don't come for me, Starbucks, like. I don't have that kind of money if I get like sued or something. <laughs> so it looks like way too like purplish for this look. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty lip paint and like dot it in the center and like up here. So and I'm just going to finesse it through and it should lighten up the look. So I'm gonna blend that out and be right back. So I'm really liking that little ombre moment and I'm just gonna take that black gel liner on this really really tiny detailer brush and I'm just going to extend the corners of my mouth and I'll be right back again I feel like I'm not showing like any of this on camera but then again I don't think it would be that entertaining if I just sit there for like two minutes like trying to do that so I'll be right back so right here you see that black spot that's exactly what I did and I'm gonna mirror it on the other side I forgot to push pause so hi it's me being weird and awkward Let's try that again. So now I've got that set. I'm gonna take that same gel liner and I'm just gonna poke like little freckles on my cheeks because freckles are cute as shit and like, I wanna give off like a very cute dainty look when I look like an actual clown. Hey, this way, if you do this, when people say you look like a clown with your makeup on, at least they're not lying. Like, hey yo, how's it going? I'm an actual literal clown. Nice to meet you. Can I have some candy? Ha ha ha. Do you think that's how people are gonna talk on like Halloween like 10 years from now when like no one goes trick or treating anymore? Like, wow, can I have some candy please? Look at me. I'm a clown. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Like very robotic. Ah, uh, that shit's weird. Uh uh. Get that away from me. Man. Gonna kill myself. Okay, well, this is all I've got for you guys today. I don't have enough money to get a good camera to sh really show off this look, but I promise you in person it looks pretty fire. So yeah, that's my take on like a gangster kind of like weird clown look, except this corner is like driving me crazy. So let me just fix that real quick because I do not have the patience to walk around with a fucked up lip corner. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys did like this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I make new videos every week. And as always, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video because I had a great time making. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.